On this episode of You Can't Eat the Grass, we try to take a day off. But will family time and a busy farm stand leave us too tired for a successful market? Or will sales be sky high? New cat friends, lots of cat sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday, we're so busy getting ready to sell flowers at our market that I stay up till four in the morning. And this week, we are not doing that. Instead, I'm gonna stay up till four in the morning on Thursday, because we're gonna take Friday off. Friday's a holiday and we have family in town. and We wanna enjoy the day, we wanna take some family time. But to be able to do that, it means we need to condense the work of two days into one, and that's not gonna be easy. So we need to be on the ball for picking. We need to be on the ball for cleaning and arranging. We need to make sure that this gets done really smoothly. Last night, I was up late harvesting in the dark. So I already have lots of flowers. I basically picked all we need out of this greenhouse. And all morning, Thursday morning today, I have been busy picking things out in the field. We still need some greenery to be able to put together bouquets, but we're very on the ball. We're doing very good. So let's go pick some stuff. We're gonna do a little bit of off-roading. We're going down there. We spotted some catnip a couple weeks ago. It should be perfect now. So let's go find it. Hop in the fence. We need to just put a gate in here. This is an empty property that, you know, just butts up right against the corner of the end of our property and it has saved our butt for greenery this year. We've been picking these, I, don't, I have no idea what it is, some sort of low lying shrub and we used it for filler for three or four weeks. I think, <laughs> I think we probably picked about 500 stems out of here. And there's, there's even more stuff. There's more things that we can get in here that, you know, will continue to save our butt as we get these windows where we don't quite have as much greenery options as we want. I'm always really careful about foraging. I don't really do too much of it because the way something is grown determines how good its day's life is. So anything that we're grabbing down here and using is stuff that we've grabbed and used in the past so we know how well it's gonna perform. I wouldn't just grab this and stick it in bouquets if I hadn't already you know, tried it out multiple times. This is the only time I give warnings to cat owners about our bouquets. I say, there's catnip in this bouquet. Maybe watch your cats. That's probably enough. We love catnip on the farm. It's one of our favorite fillers, but it's only available for us to forage here in the Okanagan on the rare time we get a wet and cool spring. So we're taking advantage of it this year, but we're also planning on planting a whole bed of it on the farm so that we can reliably have it year after year. This didn't take long. pretty hot out today. This is probably, you know, one of the first summery days where we've tried to do harvesting. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is why it's a good idea to pick things, <laughs> pick things at night. But we have some exciting things that bloomed this week in the garden. So, you know, we, we're getting into that sun and we gotta share them with you. Every year has a new favorite flower. And last year, this was the flower of the year. This is terracotta gyro. And we had 25 of them and that was not enough. We needed infinite. So this year we put in uh, another 100. And these are away from our aphidy, aphidy sad gyros. So these ones are perfect and they just opened up in the last couple days. So I'm really excited to have, have some of this to play with this week. And we'll also have lots and lots next week and the week after. Oh, 
how they are. If Terracotta Yarrow was last year's flower of the year, this is the flower of the decade. This is the flower of, flower of a lifetime. This is our big, beautiful sea holly, and I absolutely love it. I wish I could have, I tried to buy a hundred more of these because I love them so much, and there was none available. So we have to hoard the few that we have. Um, but they're they're looking perfect, so we'll pick some for the bouquets. And if I'm feeling generous, I'll use them. If I'm feeling if I'm feeling like a hoarder, I'll keep them just for myself. That one's pretty epic. Yeah, this one is definitely this one's for me. Just stick that in a vase, let it dry, keep it forever. You know they're so good; they're almost like a shame to use fresh. But I guess if I had a hundred plants. We're too busy. We're too busy, so we gotta get back to it. The harvesting is nearly done. There's only a few bits and pieces, and then it's gonna be in the outbuilding arranging time. But first, let's go check that stand. It's a good thing we checked. Very empty. This was filled to the brim this morning, and now there's not very many bouquets left. You know, there, there still is, there's still plenty of options, but maybe it's a good thing we're getting to arranging because we're gonna have to refill really soon. I've already collected $60 <clears throat> today. Let's see how much is there. Okay, let's see. Are we rich? Five bouquets in cash, and Ian got three earlier. And then I haven't checked if we have e-transfers, so it's pretty good though. Still midday, we still have lots more selling time. The kitten keeps wanting to escape indoors. And the thing that keeps cats safe on the property is the fact we have this building where they spend most of their outdoor time in. So we've, we've closed this up so that he can start getting used to the outbuilding today. He can come join us and make some flowers. Dusty. What do you think, Dusty? It's some weird smells, smells down here. It's currently... I don't know, what is it, 10.30? My friend Heather has been here helping me out a ton. We got all of the flowers prepped. And this is something we don't talk about much, but it takes forever. <laughs> um, so having that done is actually gonna speed up this process of making bouquets a lot. We have about 20 bouquets made. At this point, my goal is to hit kind of like 60 bouquets, maybe 70 bouquets, so then, Tomorrow night, I can make a few more and make some of the $40 bouquets, but I'm feeling pretty good. Ian's here, he's gonna help me. Having someone to wrap the bouquets for me actually speeds up this process a lot. Um, we got a few hours, punch out, punch out some of these bouquets. I got a couple um, design ideas I'm really excited about. And then we'll be set for holiday vacation mode tomorrow. Well, we're doing pretty good. Ian's done for the night, um, but I'm gonna keep going a little bit more. We have 40 bouquets finished, and um, you know, I, I still think it'd be easy for me to get another 20 done tonight, because um, it's probably a little bit before midnight. So another 20 will just take me an hour and a half. That puts me in a really good position. Our plan is we're gonna be back tomorrow, you know, by the afternoon, so I'll still have some daylight hours. To do those $40 bouquets, they, they take a surprising amount of stuff. So I'm looking at what I have and I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit picking to get those done. Um, and then to turn bits and pieces 
um, you know, after I have my 60 into you know, another 30 or so, you know, that'll, that'll take three hours. So I'm, I'm feeling really good. You know, I'm not gonna stay up till four in the morning. I know we joked at that at the beginning. You know, I, my bedtime is normally one o'clock. So, you know, I might stay up till two tonight. Um, but yeah, I, I'm feeling actually on schedule. And I'm feeling really good about the bees bouquets because they look incredible. I have this sunflower and snapdragon design that we did in three different color palettes. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think these are gonna sell really well. What about the kitten? How's he doing? I don't know. How you doing, kitten? Here, let's pick him up, make him cry. It does make him cry. <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> New cat friends, lots of cat smells. <laughs> <laughs> This is the bouquet that convinced us that maybe there's something to these flowers when we had all our overgrown kale for filler and the yellow ranunculus. And we're like, maybe when you have the right things, you can make money at flowers. Cause these flew off the shelf. Yeah, people were definitely drawn to them. I mean, I still love it. I love the dramatic kale against the yellow Still, still a goodie. Oh, I see what's happening here. Patty, it looks like your couch is alive. <laughs> he doesn't know what to think about it. Looks <laughs> generally displeased. Just think of it as attention, Patty. Come on. Come on out. Where are you going? Deeper, deeper into the abyss. Time for the grand reveal. I got your little foot, got your little tail. All right, I got Dusty contained. Kitten. He's heading back. He's heading back. I'm making a bunch of these. It's hard to complain about. Still ranunculus. I know. It's been an incredible ranunculus season. Okay. Okay. Love you. I do. It's 11 o'clock and we checked the roadside stand and we've been selling lots already and we never sell that much in the mornings. Normally we don't really get any traffic until two o'clock. So this could potentially be a really busy day. We're about to head into town, so we won't be able to restock if everything sells out. So I went and I did a quick pick, diversify up some of our options in the stand. We got a bucket of the stuff we made last night. I ended up making 70 bouquets last night. So we're in a good position to be ready for market tomorrow. Um, we're gonna load this up and off off to town, off to play we go. And maybe while we're enjoying a day off, the roadside stand will make lots of money for us. Every week I leave the farm once, which is to go to the farmer's market. And we're basically at home for the rest of the week. But not this week. We're going downtown. We're bringing the kids. We're going to have a big old family party downtown, do a bunch of fun stuff. Today, that's what it's all about. Having some fun. Uh, and and, and we, don't, we don't want to do some fun stuff. Yeah. 
We're back from family day and it was very fun. It was fun to hit the beach and do the activities. But the funnest part is that we were still selling and now we get to see how much money we made while we were enjoying time off. Well, there's a lot of money in here. <laughs> so there's 140 here and earlier today I got 60. So that's 200 or 10 bouquets. And there was $80 of e-transfers. Yeah. So $280, 14 bouquets. That's, that's a pretty good day. Well, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Well, Decadent always, bouquet? Yeah, I love the blues and the purples in the bouquets. I always think they sell so well. There's always somebody who wants, you know, blues and purples. So it'll be fun to have all this color in the bouquets tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired. You look tired. I only got six hours of sleep last night. That is not enough. I do much better with nine than six. <laughs> It's not super late. I think it's 9.30. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm using the last bit of light to get the things that I am ran out of or didn't pick yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to make those $40 bouquets, you know, and then I'll put a little bit, a little bit of something else together. And I've been packing the truck already, so I got time to help you tonight. You? Actually? getting kind of dark. One more thing I need actually. Before the dark? Just white. Just a little bit of white fever few. Because I used up all the white yesterday. Is it in the greenhouse? Yeah. Can you bring this inside? Yep. And then I'll meet you in the outbuilding. $40 magic happen. We have our cat friends. We brought Dusty down with us again. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. These 40, when I make 10 of these $40 bouquets, it takes two hours. You know, I, I think that I can bang out a bunch more bouquets. We did a count. There's 60 bouquets left in the cooler that can go down to the market. Um, you know, there, there really isn't much work to do. You know, like I said before, my bedtime is one o'clock. That gives me two and a half hours before my bedtime. You know, with how well things have sold at the stand, there's a chance we could have really strong sales down at the market. I'm feeling pretty good too. Uh, I actually got the truck all packed. Uh, I did some preemptive packing, morning packing, so I'll be ahead in the morning. And you know, everything looks really amazing. Uh, I love the farmers market. I love going down there every week. So you know, everything's going pretty good this week. You know, sales are good and flowers look good, and the weather's good, Definitely feels like summer, so I can't wait to get down there. We got our first lilies this week. We got these really cool dark and orange ones, and I have some of the dark ranunculus left, so 
I thought they pair really nicely together. I got two, two $40 ones finished, but let's do one with my absolute favorite flower. These sea hollies are so decadent and so beautiful. I, I mean, if I'm honest, I don't want to sell them. And there's definitely some that I'm like, they're too good. They're not for sale. This one, here's a perfect example. This is mine. I'm not selling this one. Well, what are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it in a jar and I'm gonna stare at it for the next six months. But I thought your favorite flower was money. That is true. But I have more than enough to make money and also keep this. And look at it. Check, check, check. Oh yeah, so cool. Much style. Your style points. <laughs> Stays there. Okay. But I can sell like this one. So we'll start with this. And this is gonna be like Serena Ultimate Bouquet. I'm gonna use these amaranths, these green amaranths with that, which I absolutely love. We'll put some white. Oh yeah. The most brutalist of all of the fever fuse. So structural. Ah, the beauty, the beauty of concrete contained within that few brief view right there. Nice start. Maybe some more of this kind of same purpley color palette. Fatty feels that it's safe to be off the ground. There's kittens around. So we got a good center here. This is a $40 bouquet. So now we gotta make it decadent. Okay, and then it's a Serena bouquet. So we're gonna put one of these alliums in because I love that. I'm gonna need two of these. I don't know. What are we at here? Um, oh, you know what? Let's put some of these. I like that that with them framing it. Oh, yeah. How could that not sell? I know. And I mean, this is really good. I feel like I should make two of this. They're fun to make. Because the fun thing about the $40 ones is we can put a lot of expensive stuff into it. Okay, next. I need to go to bed now because I need to get lots of sleep. The fun doesn't stop this weekend with the family time. It's Leah's birthday, so we got lots of fun activities uh, planned all weekend, and I need to get some sleep so that I'm well rested for all of them. He's like, no. He likes his little party time down here. He's coming up with me. Ready? Okay. I'm heading to bed. I can't wait to see all the fun $40 arrangements that you come up with. Everything's already looking so good, so. I think, I think people are gonna be blown away by the flowers this weekend. Thanks. It's almost three, so it's a little later than I hoped. You know, I was really aiming for two. But, I mean, this is this is the story of every single one of these late nights. The reason why it's so late is I made, I made the 80 bouquets that I wanted to make, and then I still had so many amazing options, and so I pushed on and I ended up making 100 bouquets. So there's more than what I needed for the market, but now I'm all stocked up for the stand and, they look really good this week. You know, every week it's so exciting to be able to see um, the ways that they change and the new flowers coming on. And it's just, it's so fun that it invigorates me and it makes it easy to do these nights. It's bedtime for me. <laughs> mm. 
I'm back. I'm back and that means that it is market morning. I already took a peek into the outbuilding and saw that Serena made lots and lots of flowers last night. I gotta put aside about 20 of them to leave here for filling up the roadside stand. But uh, the rest of those are all going down to the farmer's market. So that has me excited. It's a beautiful morning when it's this beautiful outside. You know, it's, it's easy to be out here hanging out, loading up the truck, and getting ready to go down to that market. As you can see, the truck is very packed today. It's uh, more full of flowers than ever because some of the bouquets are pretty large this week. It's kind of the same quantity that we've been bringing down, but the volume is massive. And so I just got a couple bouquets to bring up to the front stand, open it up, and then I am heading out to that market. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm all set up and ready to go. Uh, we've sold one bouquet so far. Should be a busy market here today. Um, the weather's nice, you know, it's the start of summer. So I'm really excited to see if we can, you know, sell all these, these bouquets. It feels like I need to sell them. She made them, I need to sell them. Okay, now it is 10.30 and for the last hour and 15 minutes, it's just been steady. I think we sold, uh, we're at 960, so that's pretty busy. Uh, the $40 bouquets, the arrangements, there's only two of them left. Um, so that's amazing. And lots of people have been mul buying multiple bouquets. This is all very good, <laughs> this, this feels very good. But I think, I think we're gonna hit a little bit of a problem today because um, the, the red, white, and blue bouquets are barely selling. I've sold one so far. You know, we might just have some bouquets that just aren't sellable today. Uh, sorry, sorry America, whatever. I'm gonna try and fix this stand up, it's a mess. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I'm back. It's 11.20, we're at 1200 bucks. We sold $2,000 a few markets ago. But, you know, we don't have to do that every week. Just kind of doing this, these consistent good numbers is, you know, more important than, than getting a, a big high number every now and then. Things are doing great. We made it down to the market. I ended up staying up later than I wanted, so we uh, weren't too quick moving. Um, but we're down to have birthday day with Leah and to see how Ian's doing with the flowers. 
Uh, Ian, someone's trying to look. The market's almost done. There's only another 20 minutes or so. And, uh, and yeah, we got some flowers left to sell, but we sold a ton today. And it's another strong market. You know, it really seems like we're starting to get a, a good name for ourselves. Lots of people are talking about the roadside stand, whether they're visiting it or they plan to. People are telling us that, you know, they've bought bouquets and all their friends are really interested in them. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like these like $1,500 sales that we're getting into uh, every week, I feel like these are here to stay. You know, I feel like this is, this is what we're going to be doing when we bring all these bouquets. So it's really exciting. We ended up doing 1620, which is our second best market ever. And we're apparently spoiled because it kind of feels normal and like just another market. I ended up making 100 bouquets, 11 of the $40 bouquets. So we still have lots left, um, but pretty incredible to be getting numbers like this and you know to having these kind of successful markets being steady markets that are happening every week it's uh it's very fun